Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. Just doing a little bit of cleaning up here and crafting up some storage drives. I'm actually going to switch my setup. And there's a few recipes here, a lot of the B stuff. We don't need to craft these any up anymore. We have the Mega Apiary. We don't use the... We're not crafting up any of those components anymore that require these. I'm just going to get rid of them. This was for crafting up all those uh, the machines or whatever. But we don't need those anymore. So just kind of cleaning out our thing because we are full. Probably don't need that anymore. I'm just going to kind of go through and pull them out as I, I see them. That was something for that. But uh, yeah, so what I'm doing and never really thought about doing a subnet for some of my crafting, namely the advanced assembly line, which is what I'm going to do right now. Uh, and I'll set that up. Stocking, not storage. Oh, I actually have enough. And then probably need an interface. Thinking export buses or the fluid. I wish we had a stocking fluid bus. That would make things a gabillion times easier. Store the fluids in there, then just stock them in my chemical reactors or any of these. Just store the fluids directly from AE. I don't know if that's actually being worked on, but basically stocking input buses for fluids. So the way we were doing this before, it's obviously we just were inputting it into the buffer and then we were typing out the... Oh, it's seven. I need one more stocking bus. Like 10. Uh, using the things, which is quite slow, to be honest, because they only do one stack at a time. And you need the upgrades, and yeah, it's just not great. So, moving forward, I'm going to try something else. And I've never actually set this up, because I never even thought about it, really. Um... We did have some issues with the circuit assemblers getting stuff getting clogged up. And looking back, we probably could have set this up. What am I looking for? Yeah, we'll just use this. I was looking for the crescent crescent hammer, because I'm so used to using that in <laughs> Which we call it Divine Journey 2. So, oh shoot, I forgot to. I just don't like when they don't stack. That's gonna bug me. I know, I'm weird, I'm weird. Okay, so what we'll do is. Uh, we'll pull those all out. Now, this actually is. We're good with that. Um, but I do need a subnet here. So what I'm going to do is ports. need one of these. How much void nuggets do we have? 432,000. Nice. That's being stored in a, a chest, obviously. All right. And it's remember, we had issues with the super bus. So, I think I'm going to do that. I'm like, I don't know if that's going to 
I might need a dual interface, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I am inputting. Oh, we don't need that anymore either. Yay! Just as I'm seeing patterns and stuff that we don't need anymore. Although, actually, now that I think about it, there is a quest for that infinite. All right, that doesn't. They, it doesn't look like that requires those uh, those tanks. All right, I'm getting myself distracted, but that is pretty typical. Okay, so dual interface onto a dual interface that will work. Then we will hook this up. I guess we'll just throw it. Underneath, do that for items, these for the fluids. Yeah. I don't think we have enough room. I do think we need actually a ME controller. We have more than... We're going to have more than eight. Eight channels, so okay. We'll do stocking there. Now, where's that quartz cable? Place this here, and this is how we'll power this subnet. I'm like, is the subnet? No, I don't think it's on. It's just, is it on? I don't know. I feel like that's not going to connect it. It needs to be connected to that. We'll do... That's... Yeah, see, there we go. Those are connected. And let's see. I don't... I hadn't really ever tried this, actually. Does that connect? It does connect. It will do... I'm so used to using the um, like storage buses and stuff on that, and it doesn't work well when you like a dense cable wouldn't work well there, but it actually would work fine. I'm still gonna need some anchors though, I think. Anchor. Just because we have, what, 10, 10 channels? All right, there we go. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, and do I want like an ME terminal here? Pretty sure I have... Apparently, I don't have quartzite screws on Autocraft. Uh, I probably just crafted up a bunch. Because this is like four different recipes, I swear. Alright, let's just do quartzite screw. Uh, I want a... So that's probably why I didn't a recipe. And 
that. I already forgot. That's a lathe. Cutting machine. And then that's a lathe. Is that right? Yeah. Like, I think I got that right. Yeah, all right, cool. So, a me terminal. Uh, I just want to be able to see if there is, if there's like a, a clog or something like that in our subnet. I like to be able to see it. Just make sure I don't click on the crafting thing because that crashes it. All right, so we will do the bio, not bio, what are they called? Bio. Bio circuit boards. Bio processing unit. There we go. All right. So I need these three. We'll do. Their lights. Hmm. Why not do that off of? That's a bit of a pain. Oh, right. There. You have to do it that way. <laughs> uh, you, you better. I did the wrong. the wrong and then I see two ones there okay so we got those there and last we need to set all these on the stocking buses do that. Where was I up to? That. And there we go. Okay, so basically what this is going to do is just input all this stuff into the subnet. And it can input, you know, a thousand at once in there and then each of these will just stock the items so that way we don't have to move the things from the buffer using conduits and all that it will just go directly into that let me craft up i'm just gonna do one really quick also why is that not what did i do like why is that not working I know what happened. I bet you it is a or dictionary because I was just putting recipe in where I actually did need or dictionary. Is that what I was trying to do? I don't remember. I mean, terminal. Ah! Cancel. There we go. Uh, there. All right. Ah. Is it, uh, is it actually working? I didn't see. I wasn't here when I was doing it. I need to make sure I did this correctly. Did we we set up? Yeah. Didn't we? Looks like Did that not go in? Hmm.
See, this is why I like to have the ME terminal. All right, so this is the first time I've set this up on a subnet, so. Oh, did I do? I did the wrong thing. There. Um, and that is because it's, uh, yeah, it rotates. I just did the wrong one. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, okay, cool. Try one more time. And this should be... We should be good now. I do like the advanced assembly line. It's kind of cool. How it goes along. Takes a second to smelt those up. Okay, so now that I got that done, um, I don't know if I'm going to switch those out. I may as I kind of go along, but I think possibly doing extra crystal ones and splitting. Instead of having just the one, I think... Probably crafting up more of those to do crystal circuits would probably be something to think about because some of these late game recipes definitely working. All right, so it actually is, it's not two seconds. It is, it's seven slots times two seconds. So it's 14 seconds. So it's, it's, uh, They do take 14 seconds to craft up as opposed to the 30 seconds. But you can craft them up like... You can have seven? Can you have like seven going at once? Is that kind of how I'm reading that? Yeah. Because you could have... Like if part of it's crafting up here, you can be starting to craft up another one here. So you can actually have multiple crafting up at once. That's why this advanced assembly line is super powerful. But the problem with it is you can't be putting, like you can't really set it up. I'm sure you could, but it uh, it doesn't do well with multiple recipes. But uh, I, that is really cool. So I'm thinking the other one I wanted was the bio wetware or whatever. So I'll probably set up another one for that and we will continue working towards the infinity chest uh, this is definitely pretty serious uh, but the infinity chest can basically get rid of all those to be honest so we might do that also I need to get this done too Actually, just, I need to get our platinum line looked at and upgraded. So I got to figure this out because we are not producing anywhere near enough platinum at this point. We can see we are backed up 600,000. <laughs> I think some of this stuff is still ready. To, yeah, it's still ready to EV. How crazy is that? All right. Let's sort that out. And I'm back. I am just trying, not even sure if this will work, but I've decided I wanted to add more crystal processors and I figured just do it like stacked or whatever would make this easier. I probably could do, I wanted to be kind of funny. We could actually rotate this probably. We go straight up and then we could even 
have the other one like over the controller there maybe and share like the the bottom but i'm not don't worry about that actually no that wouldn't work with it because you wouldn't be able to get stuff in the things uh but yeah so i basically this is on a subnet the stocking things are on a stuck subnet the output is on the main and the other thing that's actually on the main is these input hatches now originally we were just putting in Deloitte into the buffer but unfortunately I think splitting splitting the fluids in between both hatches is going to be a real pain so I think the easiest is just to put that on like with that crafting card I think um and just tell it to keep this stocked now i did notice the the name of the thing is indoloy cell but the actual fluid is molten indoloy i thought that was kind of funny uh, so yeah that will put that in there now if we put the fluid export bus on the subnet uh it can't see like this subnet can't see the main network uh, so that won't work unless i set up something like a storage bus on like an interface or something like that but i decided uh maybe just do it this way so if i put that in there i'm assuming that will tell the main network yeah so there it goes it'll do that and i can do the same for that and we'll just keep these fully stocked i mean nothing else goes in here i could even do the smaller i don't need to have the input the this input hatch but yeah i don't think lv is plenty big enough yeah so that will just fill that up easy enough you get you know a hundred ingots from that one craft or something isn't it i don't even remember so there we go it's already full and then we will i switched the recipe for that all right i think that i think that'll work if we do crystal and i say i want a thousand go up to 157,000. am i still I feel like I was, maybe I've just been using. Them a lot. I feel like that was. Yep. I'm like, eh, there's something going on <laughs> when we are messing with power. Yeah, I was like, I thought we were at like 170,000. All right. Whoops. All right. Well, we got that bit going again. Sometimes. There are things that I've missed when I have been messing with lasers. I just want to make sure this works correctly. That might take a second to get these. These uh, precision laser engravers are working over time as well. these crystal processing units the socs or whatever all right so that is that uh i'm also working on this line over here i've got it crafted up i just haven't got it all hooked up to that this one is easier obviously because it is uh just one recipe or the yeah, we're not trying to like split fluids in between two different ones so it is quite a bit easier so i will set that up and i also i haven't i haven't finished it yet but i also have to fix all my alloy recipes 
So I have to switch these all over. Or I need... I need to sort out the things because those are all fluid extracting recipes. Character. Uh, so I need to go through here and pull out the ones we don't actually need anymore. Um, like, I'm just gonna leave it here for now, but for example, I used to create the ingots and if I needed the fluid, I would melt it down. Well, now I'm creating the fluid, so I have to switch those out. So it'll take a second. Unfortunately, that means trying to get this, the recipes are all kind of broken at the moment. And to finish setting up the wetware mainframe. So that is cool. I am uh, really liking the advanced assembly line. Once you sort of kind of understand how it works, it is pretty cool. I am realizing that depending on how many slices you have is how many you can craft up at one time. So this recipe is 10. Yeah, so it'll craft up 10 wetwares at a time, which is pretty cool. Much quicker than I was before. Uh, we got that going up. I am working on the platinum line, just doing some very basic. Just realized I was messing with power and that turned that off. Always got to have that running. We'll upgrade that. Uh, probably next, I think. Um, gone ahead and just upgraded all this stuff to ZPM. I could have gone even higher. But uh, I didn't feel like... would have like really had to mess with all the power underneath here, and I, I don't want to... I don't want to touch it. I'm going to have to, but uh, it's so crazy. Um, and I'm just getting all this stuff... Upgraded as I go. Scene. Like, do we have bottlenecks? Uh, I am curious if we are voiding. Yep. All right. So that's. Oh. Maybe that's why it wasn't. All right. There we go. It. We're good. I was a bit worried we wouldn't be... Like it would... Wouldn't do it fast enough. Alright. Um, yeah, unfortunately... <laughs> that's maybe not the best idea. I just kind of... Oh. Yes. Okay. So as we can see, we have a bit of an issue. That is just asking for lag. So we're going to disable that. I can already kind of like feel it's lagging. That is absolutely terrible. I may actually move this over and just throw a multi-block mixer in there. The problem is no nitric acid. We're not producing it fast enough. So that tells me We need to... I was kind of hoping that would just run permanently kind of thing. Is how I thought I set that up. Also, curious how much... Palladium. It's the Palladium Metallic that is a bit of an issue at the moment. But I think we're good. Like, we put some in there, but then we use it to mix, so we're not filling that tank up. Alright, um, yeah, nitric acid is just not going to be able to keep up with that craziness with this just little tiny thing. I mean, it's running quick, but that is that. Uh, I guess we could... No, there's no point in trying to do that. Let's just... We're going to get a mega chemical reactor. Yeah. Alright, so we'll get that mega chemical reactor going. That is going to take a, a little bit of time because the fusion 
The fusion coils require seven superconducting coils, and I don't have that much in stock. But yeah, always fun to see the thing pushed as far as it can. Uh, I did craft up. Yep, we crafted up our first quantum chest of, I think, 18 we need. So that's a slow go. But now we are. We have. Um, we've increased the production of that. The wetware mainframes that we also need. It's in here somewhere. There they are. Wetware mainframes. We've done that. So we improved that. But I think. I think I'm getting to the point where. We're pretty good over here I originally didn't want this running permanently because or I didn't want it to craft up like a ton of bio catalyst medium just because I didn't have enough of the seaweed but we're actually doing okay for now we have up to 3500 on that So we're slowly getting the maybe there's also quite a bit of pollution over here as we can see all right let's get another one of those quantum things going actually let me uh i'm gonna wait for yeah let me wait for this to craft up and uh we'll come back actually that's probably from that i just realized probably from our mega <laughs> blast furnace where that pollution's coming from yep four million pretty funny all right uh but i do feel like we have made a little bit of progress uh unfortunately redesigning all the the stuff took me a little bit of time and trying to figure out how i was gonna do parallel on this and how to Run the cabling and stuff. Give me a little bit of time, but uh, I think we are good to go. I may start eventually replacing some of these if we need them with subnets. Uh, because it just makes it much, much easier to parallelize. Oh, also, uh, that was causing an issue. Crafting card was causing some weirdness, and I'm not entirely sure what I was doing. But it, as soon as it would drop like one craft, it would start crafting up a whole another batch, which I didn't want. But it wasn't going. It didn't seem like it was going in the fluid terminal. So basically, all I did was take out the crafting cards on that. And we're gonna do a level maintainer. So I just have it set to keep in stock and once it drops in AE we'll craft up more so instead of having the crafting cards on the export buses I just have a level maintainer keeping that so we don't have multiple things trying to craft at the same time but all right that is pretty cool I'm gonna continue I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff we don't need it anymore just gonna clog up my A system. Uh, I'm gonna continue to work on the platinum line, get it redone. I have to deal with this. I just didn't. I didn't want to. Uh, I may sort this out too. I may move it over to and throw a mega chemical whatever mixer. Not a mega, just a a mixer there. I don't know. We'll get it sorted. But, uh, yeah, and then I'll get the the nitric acid set up. But anyway, that's going to be for today. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.